Hi, this is Didac and I've made this video to show you an extra implementation for the Google Web Toolkit Stop Watcher application that Juan Carlos Pacia and me have made, especially by him. Google Web Toolkit is a framework developed by Google, whose functionality resides in creating web applications using Java code, which is translated to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript during the compilation. To explain this framework, Google includes in their documentation a bunch of tutorials to get started with it. One of those tutorials, and probably the most popular of them, is the Stopwatcher application. In this link, you can get started with it and learn how to code this little application of uh, Google Web Toolkit. And here you can download the final result. After developing in class following the tutorials, we have added a new implementation. It consists basically in addition of a history of stocks and its representation in a chart which graphically shows the result of each stock, both in value and time. Before explaining it, I want to show you the final result. So if I add a stock, let's call it hello, you can see that it is represented graphically in the chart. And the same happens when I add more than one. When I delete one of those stocks, you can see that it disappears from the chart. So we can see the buy stock has disappeared. Same happens when I press remove over C, B, and A. And when I delete all of them, uh, the chart is removed. So in this image, you can see the basic scheme of the new implementation. It consists in a hash map called Alistoricos, which contains a bunch of key and value pairs where the key is the name of the stock, also known as symbol. And the value is an instance of the object historico. The object historico can see here in the code, contains an, contains an array list called historico2, where an instance of stock price is stored. As you may know, if you have completed the tutorial, the stock price contains its symbol price and change. In this part of code, we can see that if the number of stock price instances inside the array list is greater than 20, the program removes its first position and adds the new instance to the last position. That way, we ensure that there will never be more than 20 instances stored. So after after all the uh, new stocks are stored in the in the array list and hash map containing the stock price instance, uh, the the chart is is draw using. this function which contains the logic to, to draw it. Uh, this is using a, a library from Google uh, called Google Chart Tools which lets us, as you can see, uh, create our own charts. There are different options to represent graphically uh, the results.